What is up, party people? In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to connect Shopify with NADN so you can start workflow automations with Shopify. Now, the very first thing that we're gonna do is go to NADN. Now, before we begin, if you need Shopify or NADN, I have links to all of these platforms in the video description in case you wanna sign up or make an account. Now, once you make an account, it'll bring you to a workflow here and I'll click on add a first step and we're gonna type in Shopify. Okay, now there is a variety of triggers that you can set up with Shopify. So if someone's adds something to the cart or if they make an account or if they buy something, you can create some sort of automated trigger. I'll just select on order paid. So basically uh, this is going to give them something or do something when someone buys a product. Here this says credential to connect with and I'm gonna click on create new credential. Now below that, we're gonna have to enter in some information. We need a subdomain, an access token, and also an app secret key. So let's get this info. So first let's go on over here to Shopify and let's click on settings. And the very first thing that we're gonna click on is domains. Now here we have this domain. Now this is actually the subdomain that NNN is requesting. So not your primary domain, but your, but your secondary domain. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And I'm gonna copy this, okay? So just this information. You do not need the period. You don't need myshopify.com. You just need this information right here. We'll go back to NADN and we're going to paste that in, okay? So it should look just like that. Next, we need our access token. And to do that, we need to create an application. So next, I'll click on apps and sales channel. And then I'll click on develop apps. Next, I'll click on create an app. I'll give my app a name. This is NADN and then I'll click on create app. So once we create our application here, I'll click on API credentials and we're gonna need to give NADN our API credentials. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna create an access token. So right here, you'll see it's asking for an access token. So in order to create an access token, I'll click on configuration. And then for the admin API integration, I'll click on configure. So next we need to give NADN what information they are allowed to view or write. So I'm gonna type in products Okay. And when you see the products right here, you're going to see write and read products. Make sure both of these are selected. Now, this is essentially going to be able to create products, to read information on your page and so on and so forth. But these actually must be selected according to the documentation. So I'll click on save. Okay. Then I'll click on configuration again. So now that we entered in our access scopes, we now need to install the app. So right here under API credentials, I'll click on install app. Here, I'll click on install. And then right here, you'll see that we have a new API access token. So make sure that you do write this down. I'll click on reveal token once, and I'm gonna copy this, go back to NADN, and we're going to paste this in. Okay, cool. Now we need our app secret key. Let's go back over here to Shopify and click on API credentials, scroll to the bottom, and then right here is our API secret key. I'll open up the little eye thing, copy this, go back to NADN and then also paste this in there. Once you enter this information, you'll then click on save. Now, if you did everything successfully, you'll get the green check mark. If something went wrong, you will get like a red banner. Uh, the most common issue is people typically do not set up the read and writes in the actual um, API scope. So just make sure that you do have those two boxes checked because if those boxes are not checked, you will definitely get an error. So over here, again, just make sure that these two are checked under the read and write products and you should be okay. So at this point, the store is now successfully integrated with the actual, uh, you know, NADN. So now you can start automating tasks with Shopify and NADN. Also, if you do want to join our school, we have a complete school that will show you really cool tricks like how to scrape email leads, how to extract information from LinkedIn, and a whole lot more using NADN. If you want to join our school, I will leave a link to our school in the video description. With that said, good luck on your uh, automation journey, and I'll see you all later.